What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold it out, guys. Jazbees 11 box Grand Slam baseball mixer. Random teams on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Again, we're also giving away 390 plus Vlad PSA 10 giveaway. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, first we do the break. Randomized customer names and teams. Everybody gets a random team in the MLB. Just remember, no veteran comments slash paper ship when it comes to uh, Bowman. Uh, the paper is that part for Bowman. And then, of course, everything else is no veteran common ship. At the end of this break, we will randomize all 30 customer names. And number one gets the Vlad Jr. pointing variation PSA 10 rookie card, which got it right here. There you go. Very nice. So there you go, guys. Um, now let's do the randomizer for the teams. And again, this mix includes a box of 2020 Jumbo all the way down to Top Chrome Mega uh, Updates. All right, let's roll the dice. We got a two and a six. And again, if you got spots straight up, you're in there. If you want spots straight up in the uh, blasters, four, five, and optic blaster, three, four, five, actually, you're in as well. Two and a six, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two more, right? Yeah, seven. And eight. Nick Dunnaberry. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Red Sox down in the Seattle Mariners. Nick uh, F with the Red Sox. Nicholas B with the Mets. Brian, you have the Rays as well as the Pirates from your Optic Blaster 5. Danny with the Braves. Dodgers last by Mojo. Joe Pizzle, you got the Rockies. Nicholas with the Indians. Christopher with the Royals. Joe Pizzle, you have the Marlins. Daniel with the Angels. Andrew with the Astros. Tyler with the Rangers. Manny, you have the Cubs. Nick Stover with the Reds. Daniel, you have the Yankees. Got that straight up. TJ with the Twins. Mary Lou, you have the D-backs. Logan with the Cardinals. Glennon with the Padres. Mary Lou with the Orioles. Brandon M, you have the Phillies. Deborah with the Giants. Allen with the Blue Jays. <clears throat> Joe Pizzle, you have the A's. Matthew with the Nationals. Christopher Freeze from Optic Glasher 3. You have the White Sox. Mark with the Brewers. Uh, Nick with the Tigers. And Barry with the Seattle Mariners. So, again, if anybody wants to trade, I'll have the trade window open for a couple minutes. Type in confirmed if you guys do agree on a trade. Uh, well, I don't know, man. Oakland A's is not a bad team to get, Joe Pizzle. Got a lot of rookies. In 2020 and chance at possum as well what I'm gonna start doing guys because it is a lot of boxes I'm gonna start ripping some of this stuff and uh, this is gonna be the first one so this is a buyback product from gold rush it's the value pack edition so there's three cards per pack 12 packs um, so whatever team is represented on the card is where we're going by and uh, if it is like college edition or something like that we'll look at the checklist first if there is one at the end of the break uh, if there isn't, then it'll go by college rules where teams that they're currently on are teams they play for the longest. Maybe Yamamoto 101.
does anybody actually want to make a real trade or or no All right, Brian, your comment actually made made it before my my trade went to close. So if Matt wants to trade the race for the Nats, I'll allow it. If not, then we'll close it. Your comment made it before my thing, so let me know. If not, I'm closing it for real, for real. Race for Nats, or if not, I'm really closing it. Alright, then. Alright, I'll allow that one, and that's it. Give me one minute, guys. Let me just finish ripping this. So raise for Nats. Yeah, Brian, you can trade two teams for one, five teams for one, of course. Um, the only time uh, you can't trade multiples for one is if, like, it's a tier team or all the teams are comboed into one. If you want to trade all those teams for one, you got to trade. If you want to just trade only one out of your tier teams, you got to trade the whole tier. But, yeah, in the future, if you have 15 teams and you want to trade all 15 for one team, yeah, that's that's cool. As long as it's not a whole tier of teams and uh, you only want to give away one of them, they all have to be traded together. But yeah, I've seen that happen before, Brian. Trust me. <laughs> I've seen 15 teams for one. I've seen 20 teams for one. All that crazy stuff. All right, guys. Justin Dunn. Yeah. Joe Pizzle has done it. Donaldson. All 
Paquito. Oh, we got a whammy. Pools for the Angels going to Daniel. Trout, two forty nine. Alonzo. Trevor Bauer. Cody Belly. Kevin Lux, rookie. We got Dominators, number to 999. Joey Gallo, Yordi, Austin Dean from Miami, Boba Shet. Already on the board, Joe Pizzle, with that Austin Dean auto. Yelly, Jordan. Woo <laughs> I was always a Jordan Yamamoto. Giancarlo. Donner's baseball to 999. Chris and Yelich as seen on TV. And an autograph. Look at that. Classified Vladimir Guerrero Jr. auto. Who has Toronto? Alan Murdoch does. That's a cool looking car. Garrett Cole. Yankees relic. Kino, Raider rookie. Little Mike Trout. George Brett. Joe Adele, number to 99, Raider Prospect. It's pretty cool. Trevor Story. Nico. it in this video yet, Joe Pizzle. Don't forget. Also, this this one must be a short print because this is Paquito. Oh, 
I'm down to break this, guys. But Rich just got two spots in uh, Opulence, two spots in Donner's or uh, Dynasty, and a uh, spot in Chronicles Fat Pack. So that that uh, Opulence is down to four left. Shohei Otani. Okay, so this is the repack product I was talking about from Gold Rush. Uh, let me show you guys the box. So again, this is a value pack. It's uh, the graded cards. One card per pack is a little bit better, but this one is a graded card. This was a value pack, so three cards per pack. This is a sell sheet. Usually, there's one of these bigger hits in every box. Uh, again, it's going to go by whatever team is represented on the card, guys. Um, again, if it's non -M MLB license, collegiate, stuff like that, then it'll go to a checklist. If there is one on group break checklist, if not, it'll go to the teams that they're currently on or teams they play for the longest. So, first one we got here is from Cornerstones to 99, Shohei Otani. We got a Oakland Athletics, Ricky Henderson. Little uh, commemorative patch card from 2013 Tops Baseball. That's pretty cool for the A's. Then we got a Leaf Draft of Grayson Genstia. One of one, Prismatic Proof. So we'll check and see who that goes to. Uh, Dodgers card right here. SP Legendary debut of Wes Parker. Yeah, it's going to go to the Dodgers. Cal Rogan Jr. for the Orioles. All-Star game. Little most valuable player relic. Remember the patch card. We got a Valiant. Logan Gilbert, 101, clear purple. So we'll check that out as well. Then you got a Tom Brookins. 40th year of, uh, 40 years of tops. That one has what? Remember a little shield. We got Gio Urshela. Tops TBT. We got a youthful power. Wow. A Fleer 1987 glossy autograph of Conseco and what is it? In Cavgila. Texas Rangers randomized between the Oakland A's and Texas Rangers. That's an authentic autograph. And it's dual autograph. So A's and Rangers will be randomized here as well. So we'll keep that uh, right over here. Milwaukee Braves. So that'll be going to the Atlanta Braves, guys. A little checklist card. We got a Fernando Tatis rookie campaign autograph. Or sorry, rookie card. We'll say from tops now. It's pretty cool. We got uh, Red Wave of Ronaldo Hernandez 101. We got Golden Age uh, Reggie Jackson. That's like Oakland Athletics right there. And we got Bailey Falter U15 National Team out of 35. And you got Julio Pablo Martinez, clear green, 101 proof. We got a Dave Winfield, game used jersey silver, and uh, San Diego Padres. We got Brennan McKay, wow, silhouettes, out of 49. Forget Brennan, what is that, Rays, right? Is that Trade Mojo right there? I thought Brennan McKay's race. Wander Franco. 2019 tops on the man. 55 Bowman. 8-5. So that's another one for the Rays. Back to back. We got Roberto Ramos. Bowman's first for the Rockies. Going to Joe Pizzle. Tops now. Pete Alonso rookie. It's going to the Mets. And Nicholas. A uh, franchise favorites of Harmon Killebrew for the Minnesota Twins out of 100 from Topps Transcendent. It's a little sketch. Twins is going to TJ Leonard. Albert Pujols. A little commemorative patch for the Angels. George Springer. The 25. That'll be going to the Houston Astros. And wow. 1991 Upper Deck Chipper Jones PSA DNA Certified Autograph. 
Who has the Atlanta Braves? Daniel does. Nice. There you go. It's not bad. A Raider rookie, Aaron Judge, for the Yankees. You got Keston. You got Jim Bolger for the Chicago Cubs, 1959 Tops. There you go. You got a Mark Knutson for the Brewers. And a... Uh, what is this? Onyx of Austin Meadows for Pittsburgh. A PSA 9 of 2010 Bowman Chrome Manny Machado draft picks and prospects. Nice Baltimore Orioles. That's going to Mary Lou. Oh, is that a 4 out of 5 on the Meadows? Oh, yeah, that's right. There you go. That's pretty cool. And then a little Matty Machado, PSA 9. We got a Richard Gallardo for the Cubs. Bowman's first. A rookie card, Ken Griffey Jr. says, playing Kershaw. Gowdy Baseball. That's pretty cool. A little Aaron Judge, uh, BGS 9, Chrome Update rookie card. For the Yankees, we got a Charlie Blackman to 99, Immaculate Base, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Rookie. And the last one is Tom Seaver to 83 from Topps Trend Center for the Mets. All right, so there you go. That's from the product there. And we'll look these up a little bit later. And then, of course, uh, Joe Pizzoli can help me out again in case I forgot those, but just to move along. Yeah, actually, guys, th that box was probably one of the better boxes I've seen. That stuff can be pretty pretty rough. Uh, but the fact that it had that Chipper Jones, this dual auto was pretty cool. That'll be randomized. <clears throat> pretty strong. Uh, I don't remember, man. I don't even think that was for sale. We've just been using them for mixers. I don't think they're too expensive. I think they're probably like a couple hundred bucks. I like the the graded, uh, the graded val the graded packs where it's just one hit per pack, and they're all graded. <laughs> Those ones usually have more fire from Gold Rush, but these value packs, like I said, they can be pretty strong or they can be, like, pretty bad. It's just one or the other. You know what I mean? And, um, like I said, the cell sheet, it's pretty strong. The cell sheet is pretty strong, but I think they make, like, a hundred of these boxes and, you know, there's only, like, 20 cell sheet hits. But it wasn't that bad. I mean, that Chipper Jones alone, I don't know what that's gonna go for, but, you know, even if it pays for, like, half the box, you still have everything else to come up on. Alright, 2016 Donruss. There's Corey Seager rookies in here. Jacob DeGrom. Number 189. Trey Turner Hollow. Another DeGrom. And we got the San Diego Chicken. 
Someone's actually going to win this in a lot, depending on how many we get. Probably go to number two, if anything. Since everybody has a shot at that. Aaron Nola Raider Rookie Hollow. And a Kyle Schwarber to 150. Nice. A little Raider Rookie Hollow autograph. Nice. Yeah, I think they would be like that. It would be fun like that. I'll see if we can sell some of those guys. Maybe we can do them on the personal side on Instagram. On Tuesday or Wednesday when I'm on there. Out of 25, Kettle Marte. Seattle Mariners. No, actually, the San Diego Chicken is not affiliated with the Padres on the checklist. We did a lot of these back in 2016. There was a lot of controversy. I want to say it looks smudged, but I also want to say the ink was just fading, probably. Playing Kershaw. Ah, oh, no, no, that's all good. No, I would. It, it's like its own, technically. Even though he's the famous San Diego chicken, they didn't affiliate it with the Padres. So <laughs> I remember back in the day, people were like, that shouldn't be going to the Padres. And la la la. So it's just its own. Exactly. So someone will win those chicken cards. Alright, let's go with, uh, let's actually go with Prism. Who's the only mascot to change sports? Um, don't tell me. I want to see. I want to see if I remember, if I can think of one. I, I actually don't know, but I want to see if it's one that's pretty easy to kind of <clears throat> to figure out. Yeah, give me a hint, Brad. I'm, trying to, I'm thinking too much of all the sports that I know. Give me a hint. What sport? <laughs> I'm trying to think now. There's a lot of there's a lot of teams in the past that have left town, but he didn't. That's yeah, more like a riddle. <laughs> Ah, that actually makes sense. Cardinal. 
like the football team, St. Louis Cardinals, and then, and then, um, no, the St. Louis Cardinals weren't in St. Louis, were they? Well, actually, Colts would be actually a good one because you know they came back. Brian Anderson, Nico. I go bias. Another Kyle Schwarber to ninety nine this time though. And Ronaldo Lopez. For the Chicago White Sox. We're like all anxiously anxiously awaiting Brad's response with this will narrow it down a lot. <laughs> Oh, uh, it was the Expos? Oh, I didn't see the Canadian flag. Oh, I'm sorry. Jordan to 175. But what did they become? I still don't even get it. I'm a little lost. Oh, that's right. That is their mascot. You're right. Now I'm thinking about it. God, uh, that makes sense. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're both in Montreal. Nico Silver. Yeah, they do, Joe Pizzle. I mean, I didn't know the Montreal Expos had a, had a, had a, had a, the mascot the same as Montreal Canadian. But then again, when the Montreal Expos were around, I don't, I wasn't alive, so I wouldn't know. So now. Bryce, I mean, if you wanted to join something, I mean, I'm down to break this after just because it's close, but it's a little pricey. Opulence is down to uh, four left. Opulence basketball. That's a big boy break right there, but I don't know if anybody's down for it. If not, we're calling it a night after this, so regardless.
his birthday on his uniform. Oh, is it Dustin May? Nah. <laughs> it's the only May I know of, I think. Carlos May? Joe Pizzle just looked that up right now. Negative Brian Reynolds. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Anthony K. Joe Palumbo. <laughs> Jig Rogers. Luis Castillo. Oh, Aaron is great, man. Honestly. Um, from a 35 mile commute to 6.8, call it 7 miles, I guess. Cannot complain, man. And I'm just more available too now. You know, I, I just come in for like half a day on Fridays and break in the mornings if there's new releases and you know, just go back go back to my place, you know. That's also another reason why I wanted to. I know, right, but it's still for the moment drive. No, actually um it's about like a seventeen minute drive. Uh, it's it's between 15 and 17 minutes. It, it could be 20 if there's like super traffic on the streets, but for the most part, it's it's, it's still only like a 20, 15, 20 minute drive. <clears throat> when I used to drive from Almani to over here, it took me about like 20, 25 minutes to from the freeway to get to the end of the freeway, right? But since we're so deep into the to the to the beach area. It adds another 15, 20 minutes from like the end of the freeway to get to Hermosa Beach. So that's why it would take me about like 45 minutes, you know, 45 to an hour sometimes, depending on how much traffic there was. Because getting from the freeway to, to the end of the freeway only took me about 25 minutes or so. Around there. You know, maybe 30 if there was a little traffic, but you know, thank God I have carpool my wife, so I always have carpool. And since I work in the afternoon, I don't get the early morning commute, and then I miss the afternoon commute, because like starting at 4 or 5 is when it gets really, really busy. So when I get here like around 2, it's like perfect. Nice. Yeah, Culver City was another place that we were looking at, too. We were looking at anything within, within under 10 miles, basically. But we found a place that we liked. It was in a good area that we thought was a good area. The place was really nice. And uh, it was under 
It was like at the top of our budget, but it was like the commute was perfect for us, so. Okay. Give it a shot right there. I mean, shit. That's the amount of money we're paying, though. Man, I wish I could just get a house. <laughs> All right, Tony DeBrell, little speckle first for the Mets. So that actually like does work, right? When you get to refinance Aaron? Damn, you can save that much. That's awesome, man. I know, man. If, if, if Jaspies was for real of moving up or down California or like out of California, I'm all for it, man. I know the in-laws are painting Arizona, so I'm like, I'm just, I'm okay with that. I could buy a nice, nice house in Arizona. Even Vegas, I'm cool with Vegas. Nika Bello to one fifty. Jason Dominguez Chrome. Yeah, I mean, I honestly, uh, me and my wife really obviously would love to stay here in Southern California, and Bakersfield is, what, an hour and a half drive, you know, something like that, like, I wouldn't even mind something like that, but at the end of the day, you know, it's like, you know, if we decide to stay here, we, we stay here, right, you know, and we just, you know, get a place that is right for us, and, you know, do that, but... If there's ever an opportunity to move out of state, we've always talked about that too. I just don't mind Arizona or Vegas because it still is close enough to Los Angeles where it's a 45 minute flight. You know, Vegas is like a three and a half hour drive, four hours. You know, depending where in Arizona, like Arizona could be a four hour, five hour drive. So it's like, I don't, I don't mind it. Well, Brad, honestly, dude, like, like I, I, uh, I'm already used to this heat. Arizona heat, LA heat. It's it's whatever to me. Cal Southern California still gets the best weather. I don't know if I like Texas too much, man, you know. To be honest. Cheap though, don't get me wrong. Yeah, Rex, I think the Nationals and Rosemont are over here. And a Byron Laura out of 50, first gold. Passes Roberts? Did I pass on Roberts? Well, technically, if it's paper, I don't have to ship it, but I'll make the exception, I guess.
That Laura will sell for $100. I mean, I love the Colorado Rebel, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> and Edgar Encarnacion. I'm just joking, Chris. I'll get them for you, man. If I pass any more, let me know. I'll go through the base. I was actually thinking of, I was going to pull out Roberts and, like, um... Who was it? Roberts, maybe Yordans, and... <clears throat> and, um... Lux, if anything. Zach Collins can stay in there. Have a good night, man. Oh, yeah, Aaron, I'll send it to you when I get home. I, I, uh, I thought I had took a picture of it earlier, but I didn't. And when I was going to text you, I realized that I didn't text you back last time. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I was like, damn, no wonder I haven't got a text back. I didn't even text this dude back. Yeah, man. I'll talk to you tomorrow, man. Have a good night. Have get some rest. I am some pasta, damn. Joe Rogan moving to Texas? I've always wanted to listen to his podcast, but I always forget. No, if I, could, if I could preferably move somewhere, I would move to Vegas. I honestly would. Vegas, whoa, what the hell? Vegas is, like, such a city that's just growing. Well, like, the surrounding cities, like Henderson, Vegas, and all that. That, um, it's just, it's only going to get bigger. I don't even know how many millions of people have moved to Vegas in the last, like, two, three years. Good though, man. I mean, not that I didn't like Texas. I just don't feel like Texas is for me. And then being an Eagles fan, I, I can't live in Texas. I just can't. I I just can't live in Texas. I got being an Eagles fan. Hell no, dude. Too many temptations, I know, Joe. I mean, not that you don't have casinos where you live either, but. All right. Next one, top scoring baseball. Well, look, at the end of the day, he's probably also tired of paying taxes. Look, when you're really, really rich, you also have to pay a lot of taxes. <laughs> so it's like only the rich that don't care so much and want to live this alley lifestyle won't leave there's other people that are willing to leave they should cool my trout card He 
Alfonso. Mark McGuire. I hit anything crazy, did I? Alright guys, 2018 Bowman Chrome. This could have some fire. Like isn't that crazy to think about though guys? I thought I thought I seen uh someone talk about it when it came to taxes and how much money so I remember the last uh, tournament that golf had, the, the guy in Northern California won. He won like the, what was it, $1.8 million as the prize. Um, I think after taxes and everything he had to pay for, he only got like a million dollars. It's like almost half of his winnings. I think in California it's way worse too because I mean I don't know the whole breakdown but it's, it's a lot different man and that's also like a reason why like my in-laws my father-in-law's company moved to Arizona dude like it's crazy like he was telling me that electricity was like freaking $20,000 a month cheaper you know and he said that like workers comp was like X amount of money over there it's only like a like three four hundred percent less and he was just like no wonder they moved to Arizona Pull up a shit there I mean honestly Reggie what I was just trying to think like imagine we lived like in Ohio and like you know even still paying us like even if we got paid minimum wage fifteen dollars an hour like you know how much money that'll get us you know how much that'll get us in Ohio or something like that. I was like, hell. You know? Look, guys, when you grow up here, I don't know if you grew up here or not, but maybe you realized that it wasn't the place for you and you left, but I'm just used to this, the way Cali is. I, mean, I, I don't know anything else. So, yeah, if I ever moved out of state, I'd probably realize how bad Cali is, but. And Bowman Chrome Prospect autograph of Jonathan Lociega. So, <laughs> like for now, I'm okay with Cali because this is all I know. I don't see it as bad as other people do. But until then, I'm cool with it. Oh, is it to Redemption 2018 Bowman? Yeah. Alright, let's do the other Bowman's best and we'll end off with Bowman, Draft, Sapphire, and Sterling. But yeah, Rex, I don't think we'd ever move that over there to the Midwest. I mean, if unless we go without Joe, but I know Joe said he would not leave California. so Or at least the area of California. I think he'd be okay with Vegas or something because his sister lives there and he's always visiting anyway, so... Joe is too accustomed to this weather. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember. I know that dude plays for the Yankees thing as well. I 
not really wrecked, but we always talked about it. I mean, there's not really many of us that work here. I know, I mean, obviously back when we weren't really our, with ourselves and we were still part of the other company, we had talked about going to like Vegas or something. But, I mean, it never really escalated me like that. But. Bossman Mike and them is the same way too. Like, they love living here in California. And like I said, I love to too. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I was just saying, like, I have the, I, I have the openness of mind to, to, to leave California if the family decided, hey, let's just move this operation somewhere else, you know? I'd be like, cool, I'm down. <laughs> you know? That's what I'm trying to say. Corbin Carroll. Ginsner. I don't think so, but I mean, until it becomes a real discussion, I mean, I guess we shouldn't say that. Will Wilson, damn, I thought that was an angel. I mean, I thought that was a uh, Mike Trout for a second. Death Rage, one of the better last names in the in the hobby. I know, but Jaspi's case breaks is, it really does it for us now. And now that we have our own retail store and are on our own, which should have always been um, Jaspi's Sports Cards and Collectibles is our name of our store. So you still get the Jaspi's in there. Just think of Jaspi's case breaks though. I'm sure if you type in Jaspi's, our website will pop up anyway. Alright, all these will be pending to the top loaded, guys. So, Matthew Lugo. Uh, Walner, White, Malone, Espino, Bart, Logan Davidson, a little Atomic Green, number to 50, 23 out of 50 for the A's, and Jake Sanford. 99. Shung, Fletcher, Campbell, Manoa, and Gerling. All right, guys, last box.
Oh, really, Rex? Why why make the name change now? Is it because maybe with COVID it was like would lose more business if it was known as Owens instead of Kroger? Or why why change that now after eighteen years? Alright guys, last box, 2019, Bowman Sterling. So many you got you, yeah. I guess that makes sense. No, this is overflowing already. All right, guys, so last box. Tristan McKenzie to 199 and a Jordan Groshans to 75. For the Blue Jays. Franklin Perez for the Tigers. We got a Matthew Liberator, number 99, a little speckle. This trash. Yeah, it was. It just didn't fit in my box. Brady Singer. And Drew Waters.
And a Victor Mesa Jr. number to 50. Are you still here, Joe Pizzo? Look at that. Last hit going to the Marlins. And there was a no Jordan Yamamoto. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. So Victor Mesa Jr., Brady Singer, Liberato Perez, Groshans. Got a couple of nice ones there. Carroll, Ginsner, Wilson, Death Rage, Redemption of Los Siega, Devrell, Gabello, and Edwin Encarnacion, Loria, uh, Laura, Garrett Cole, Yu Chang, Ronaldo Lopez, Aaron Savelle, Kettle Marte, Kyle Schwarber, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Austin Dean, a little whammy of Pujols. And we got a lot of ton of stuff here that'll be top loaded as well. So let's quickly do the randomizer now for the giveaway. And then, uh, so number one, we'll get the, actually we have to do a couple of randomizers. So this is for the giveaway. Everybody has a shot at this. Number one's gonna get the Vlad. Number two, we'll get the chicken cards. And then this one is between the A's and the Rangers. All right, and also I need to look at these ones up really quick. I don't, I don't remember these having checklists, so I'm just gonna close this and look at these again. Where's the... So Julio Pablo Martinez. Rangers, right? Yeah. So let's put Rangers here. University of Maryland Global Campus has always been ahead of the curve. We can take school on the road wherever we are. I like that the university is really high school. Uh Ronaldo Hernandez. I remember you said it too, Joe. Yes, time to be ready for the play. TB. And then Logan Gilbert, you saw Seattle Mariners, I remember, right? Thanks for looking this up. I mean, I'm looking it up too on my phone really quick, but just making sure. And then Grayson. Mississippi Braves, that'll be Atlanta Braves. All right, cool. Yeah, I already did it. Alright, so this is for everybody. And this one will be Rangers and A's. Alright, so let's roll it. And it's a one and a three, four times. Good luck. One, two, three, four. Wow, what a break for you, Joe Pizzle. <laughs> A's for that dual auto, which is pretty cool. And everybody has a shot at the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And that'll be four times. One, two, three, four. 
two, three, four. Wow. Oh, man. Joe P. You just won the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. PSA 10. Pointing short print. Man. Have yourself a break. Right now, he's just, he's just like this right now. This is a dream. He's about to wake up. <laughs> There you go, man. Congratulations. All right, and there you go, guys. That was the break. And then, Deborah, you're going to get the chicken cards. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.